The first thing will be the visit of Vijay Nisinga God Temple. Vijay Vijay Nisinga God. I'll get the spellings of these from you later. Uh, I I am spelling V I J A Y N R I S I N G A G A R H. Vijay Nisinga God Temple. Uh, this is near a uh, modern Vishakapatan shipyard. Uh, uh, there is a na- very great Indian shipyard, Vishakapatan. One only, it was not Vishakapatan. So there, near that five miles away from that uh, station, there is that nice temple on the hill. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that the temple uh, scenery may be there and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is visiting that temple. Mm-hmm. And after that temple he came to the bank of river Godavari. That, just like uh, the river Ganges is very sacred river, similarly there are other four other rivers, Jamuna, uh, Godavari, Krishna, Narmada, uh, Ganga, Jamuna, uh, Godavari, Narmada, Sanka, and Krishna. These five rivers are considered very sacred. So he came to the bank of Godavari and, and he took his bath and was sitting in a nice place underneath the tree and chanting. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. In the meantime, he saw that a great procession was coming. And that could be the scenario of the... Uh, in that procession, uh, formerly the kings and governors they used to take bath in the Ganges with their paraphernalia, band party and many Brahmins and all kinds of charitable things. In this way they used to come to take bath. So Lord Chaitanya saw that uh, somebody is coming in that great procession and he was told about Ramananda Rai, the governor of uh, the Madras province. The Sadhguru Bhattacharya requested him that he was going to South India. You must meet Ramananda Rai, he is a great devotee. So when he was sitting on the bank of the Kaveri and he was, Ramananda Rai was coming in procession, he understood that he is Ramananda Rai, but because he was unnecessary, he did not address him. But Ramananda Rai, uh, he was a great devotee and saw a nice sannyasi, young sannyasi was um, sitting and chanting Hare Krishna. Generally the sannyasins, they do not chant Hare Krishna. They uh, Om, Nar, Om, that uh, simply sound Om, not Hare Krishna. Uh, what do you mean he wouldn't address him because he was sannyasi? Uh, sannyasi, uh, restriction is the sannyasi should not uh, beg from a um, pound-selling man or see them. That is the restriction. Uh, woman and men of pound-selling pen. But I thought Ramananda Roy was a devotee. That he was a devotee, but undoubtedly. But outwardly, he was a governor. No. Oh. Outwardly. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did not go with him, but ah. he understood that he is a nice sannyasi. He mm. came down and offered his respect and sat down before him. And there was acquaintances, and Lord Chaitanya said that Bhattacharya has already informed me about you. You are a great devotee, so I have come to see you. And then he replied, well, what devotee I am a counseling man, politician, but Bhattacharya is very kind to me that he has asked uh, your holiness to see me. So 
if you have come so kindly, kindly deliver me from this uh, material maya. Uh, so there was appointment of time with uh, uh, Ramananda Raj and um, both of them uh, met again in the evening and there was discussion about uh, uh, I mean to say, a spiritual advancement of life. And Lord Chaitanya inquired from him, from Ravananda Raya, replied. Of course, that's a long story. Uh, how he questioned and how he replied. Then Roland Roy. Yes. Well, but, is that important? That's the scene about the meeting. Uh, meeting and meeting, that, uh, that discussion, would you like to give? Well, if it has to be rendered in the scene, it's important. Uh, you want me to, to render the discussion? The important is the scene that he met Ramananda Rai. Yeah. He came in procession, that was a nice yeah. scenery. These things are already complete. Now, so far the talks are concerned. The summary of the talk was... Mm, oh, just give me the brief summary. Uh, and brief summary. Uh, yeah. In this scene, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became the student, not exactly student, he inquired. And Ramananda Rai answered. So, the importance of this scene is that uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, uh, does not follow the formality, the only the sannyasin should be uh, the spiritual master. Uh, anyone who knows the science of Krishna, he can be spiritual master. And to show this example practically, although he has uh, Sannyasi and Brahmin and Ramananda Raya was a Sudra and a Grihastha householder, still he became like a student and inquired Ramananda Raya. Uh, Ramananda Raya felt some uh, um, hesitation that uh, how can I uh, uh, take the uh, um, position of a teacher to a Sannyasi? And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied, no, no, don't hesitate. Uh, he stated that either one may be a sannyasi or may be a householder or one may be a brahmin or shuddha, it doesn't matter. Anyone who knows the science of Krishna, he can take the place of teacher. Uh, <coughs> so that was his uh, I mean, the gift. Uh, that, uh, because in Indian society, it is simply taken that the brahmins and the sannyasi can be spiritual master. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, no, anyone can become spiritual master, provided he is conversant to the science. So, uh, and the summary of the uh, discussion was uh, how to elevate oneself uh, on the highest perfection of love of Godhead. And that love of Godhead was described, uh, uh, existed. Uh, I mean, this, uh, super extensively in Radharani. So in, in the um, uh, Bhava, in the feature of Radharani and uh, um, uh, Ramananda Raya, in the feature of Radharani's associates, Lalita, Shoki, both of them embraced and began to dance in ecstasy. That will be the end of the scene. Both of them began to dance in ecstasy. On on the road and take it on. All right. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.